All right, well, so give this a shot here. We've got this save game where we were doing a little bit of siege discussion about ambushes, and it seems like we have not only the perfect opportunity for an ambush here, little tutorial on an ambush, uh, which of course is not a big deal in Bannerlord. It's rather easy to commit a ban an ambush. Uh, and again, we need food here. So I, would, I was also demonstrating that you can just simply break out while you're under siege, you lose some troops. I run over to my local village here. The sieging force doesn't seem to mind at all. We gather up some food. Of course, they're very eager to give us food and troops because there's this fuck sturgeon force raiding our, our shit as usual. Uh, we get some food here. Uh, in fact, these sturgeon forces just got here. I think we've got time to go grab some more food. So we're gonna run to another local village and then we will have both an ambush of this force and based on the save game that I'm reloading this from, we will also have a very large sturgeon force sieging this citadel. So we will take these troops here. Uh, again, we will buy all the food at this local village in my very late game campaign. Of course, these villages have loads and loads of food. We'll take all this food here and then race back to this castle to try to defend it. Yes, 1300 sturgeons here. We're going to defend this in two different ways. First, I'm going to again give a demonstration of the ambush, the, the process of the ambush. The enemy has to be sieging for 24 hours and they have to have at least something for you to destroy. You can't, you can't actually destroy something uh, from the siege perspective until they build it. So you see the ambush there does not have any vulnerabilities. That's because their battering ram is not built. As soon as that battering ram is built here, we're going to give a quick demonstration slaughter of an ambush here. Uh, with this force. In fact, this is our Horse Archer mini-series. Uh, so we're going to attach this to our Horse Archer mini-series. And this just shows the ease on easy, on the hardest difficulty, rather, of how easy, I mean, with Horse Archers, it is the easiest difficulty of how easy it is to ambush these poor bastards. Especially in this situation, the Sturgeon forces uh, just don't really have much chance against all of these mounted knights. Now, I said before in the previous siege episode, the previous siege guide, for some reason or other, we get more troops and the enemy is just like, their their pants are caught down here. I mean, I guess that could happen in real history, but it would never happen over and over again as the case of these ambushes here. Uh, nevertheless, we're going to destroy this sturgeon force, destroy the siege they have here, uh, and then repeatedly bash these guys until they bring more troops, right? That's ultimately what we want. Look at this Lord here. just She's just running around haplessly, just gets cut down like a dog. Uh, and we're just going to smoke the rest of these sturgeon troops here. You got this... This, this guy very vigorously attacking me with his little pathetic sword here, hurting my mount, and he's going to take a couple arrows, one in the back for that one. All right, so my troops have been too effective already. They've already destroyed the the, uh, the siege ram, and so I don't think the enemy actually, I don't think the enemy actually has any more siege uh, to destroy. Nevertheless, we're going to basically take advantage of the weakness of both the AI and this reinforcement system. Definitely, some people will consider this either exploitive or cheese or something in between. I don't do this in my own campaign. People frequently ask me, how come you don't ambush? And just because it's too fucking easy. And these hapless troops here, we just pound them over the head. We can virtually shoot them at will with our horse archers. There's no sign of help. Of course, the rest of their army, I guess, is on strike. Bunch of fucking terrified pansies not interested in helping their 30 lads here. Uh, so we're just going to beat the shit out of these guys uh, until they show up. I'm actually going to fight two or three rounds of reinforcements here. Uh, I never played Grand Theft Auto 5, uh, but I, I definitely enjoyed videos on YouTube where guys run around and there's like a police chase and it gets more and more difficult. I wish that's how they would model this. Uh, anybody who's done these ambushes, at least with a competent army, uh, these guys are literally fish in a, in a uh, fish in a barrel, pigs to the slaughter. Find your analogy of choice. These guys have absolutely no chance, especially to a high-end horse archer army. So we're going to surround them here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to commit all of our units to a combination melee attack and body slam them at the same time. Of course, they're already down to 49 guys, and that's going to go down rapidly because we have them surrounded by horse archers. I can add to their misery here. They're being shot left and right. I've got my handful of companions throwing their javelins right into the midst of their packed ranks. You can just see they're getting smoked, and they have no ability, zero ability to fight back. 
They have no archers. Guys are gaining levels. Uh, and it really is kind of a sad, a sad situation for the Sturgeons here. In reality, I wish they had like 160 troops with archers and cav pouring in. It would make it a lot more interesting uh, rather than these ambushes. Nevertheless, people requested to see these. Uh, so I will brighten your future in this episode by telling you that there's going to be a very interesting siege here. I'm going to try a highly risky uh, sally attempt against uh, the forces that are coming. And the reason I say the forces that are coming is that this, this happened actually in the last siege episode. Uh, we actually showed a little bit of an ambush and then a massive uh, another army of sturgeons showed up uh, leading to the total sturgeon defenders being I don't know something closer to 2500 uh, so we're not gonna fight it in the traditional way uh, this could be considered epic siege but in our uh, in our epic siege honestly 2500 is a relatively small siege and I don't frequently even record those uh, for our epic siege Saturday right we've set the bar pretty high in our late game campaign and I'm usually not gonna not going to bother with you guys, uh, you know, showing you guys a, a siege of 2,500. First, because I would be showing you a siege every day. Uh, and also just because a lot of them are rinse and repeat, mangle the enemy, they have no chance. Right? You can see how this effectively was. We had one guy injured out of all of that. Uh, and we dropped like almost 100 sturgeons. We destroyed all their siege equipment. We can shoot a couple more arrows into these pathetic sturgeons. Uh, and hopefully... Like I said, hopefully, hopefully this seed, uh, this save game, and of course this is saves coming, but this is strictly for demonstration. Hopefully they bring the hordes and we can actually have an interesting, uh, well, if you're watching this on YouTube, I can assure you I was able to repeat what I saw at the end of my last siege episode where tons of sturgeons are going to pour into here and we're going to have ourselves a real battle. It's unfortunate that the ambush situation is so easy. You can see they're already trying to build more siege here. And here they come, just like the last save game. It uh, looks like 20. Okay, so there's even more. There's units piling in behind here. It looks like it's going to be 24, 2500 by the time it's all, uh, it's all said and done. Over 2500. So this is going to be very challenging. But I have an extremely archer-heavy armor or army. Okay, they've already began their assault. This is perfect. Uh, this is exactly what I wanted for this episode. So again, we'll run a banner lord difficulty, uh, but that's. That's no difficult task for us. What is going to be difficult here is trying to figure out a good organizational attack here with a sally attempt. In fact, we're going to sally from the get-go. Now, a sally attack means basically leaving your citadel intentionally to fight the enemy outside your citadel. Uh, it's not the kind of thing that happened very often, but sometimes it would happen if you sensed, if a commander sensed a moment where the enemy was vulnerable. Now... It's going to take me about a minute to reconfigure this because I want a very specific mix of units. I want elite units and infantry especially outside with us. We're not going to be going out with the militia because they'll just get slaughtered. I want some of my best infantry probably in the 3rd and maybe the 4th or, or the... It might, I might make it the 6th division because that's what I'm kind of used to a lot in my, in my campaign. Those are typically attacking slaughter divisions. Uh, and then I want at least two archer divisions. Why two? Because I want massive counter uh, fire, uh, flanking fire, right? We want them in different locations so that the enemy pursuing us is getting raked with broadsides. All right, so let's see here. I do need to square at the gate. I can't just leave the citadel unguarded, of course, because the enemy will just simply flood it and slaughter all the troops inside. Uh, so here's what we're going to do here. I'm going to start assigning some archer divisions, and I want some archers on this wall. Uh, like, I want, like, a good amount of archers on the wall. Why? Because that's one more thing for the enemy to deal with, right? All these archers on the wall here, uh, with between all of our different archers shooting, and look at, there's like 40 cons guards in there, something like that. Between all these different units shooting, uh, we're going to be able to do major damage. It's just going to be an absolute hail of darts, unlike anything you can normally see in Siege, because you can't even get that many... Uh, guys on the walls with line of sight, right? You, you. This will be the most arrows an enemy's ever seen in Bannerlord uh, in this episode. So this is gonna be fun. Hopefully you you stuck through that ambush earlier on. Um, okay, so per well, maybe that's too many, but uh, it, it will be nice to have like this is like a hundred. Not elite archers, but most of them are high end, third, three, uh, th tier three through five. Uh, there might actually be some cons guards in there too, so I can support this left flank because the left flank is where I'm going to position over by those rocks. There looks like a bit of a cubby hole where we can sort of be protected a little bit and then really hammer the enemy from the flank. 
Uh, now, I'll probably use the first division in a square here at the gate, but it doesn't need to be so large. I need a few more troops outside because, of course, we're going to be attacked. The enemy will attack us with infantry. Now, unfortunately, the AI may uh, attack our main siege still. A, a smart player would simply destroy everything outside first and then turn their attention to the citadel. Uh, but I think because they have ladders here and what, they have a siege tower, I think they're going to aggressively pursue both, uh, both targets, our citadel and our army outside, which will have disastrous effects for the enemy uh, now I don't know the results of this right this is one of those things I, I narrate these live and there's definitely a chance I botched something uh, or or it's a close battle and we fail if you're watching this it's at least gonna be tactically interesting I, I have a pretty high bar for the kind of stuff I upload these days uh, and hopefully it can be tactically interesting at a minimum. All right, so we got to get out the gate here, and I've learned you can't actually open the gate from your horse for whatever reason. It, it has to be, uh, you know, you have to run up here and physically open it. Now, we're going to have a traffic jam because of how narrow this door is. This citadel has a tiny little door. Uh, so we're going to get, the, let's see, this going to be the third, sixth. Make sure I don't get the wrong divisions outside the third, fourth. I think it's the third, fourth, sixth, and seventh. I hope I did that right. I don't see the wrong units coming up. And we're going to get the third right away out there in a shield wall to hopefully absorb attention. Now, look at the death spam already. Our units up there. Now, the, the, the Sturgeon Heavy Spearmen killing people, that's with the catapult. Uh, but our archers, our javelin throwers are going to go to work. Um, I'm going to ride my horse at the very beginning of this, but I'm going to dump it then. I'm going to join my men on foot. Uh, this seems like a nice heroic slugfest to, to fight it out in the trenches with them. Now look at this beautiful flanking side, right? There's a there's a hill and there's like a bunker that the enemy has to go through just to get to us. The fourth archers are in a giant spread swath there. The seventh will be opposite, perpendicular to us. Now we're gonna take some arrows on the on the as we approach here. The enemy has a bunch of archers over here, but we're also as soon as we get set up, it's gonna be absolute scorching time. We lost we lost a few guys there, and now I have shield walls moving up to face the enemy. <laughs> I can hear an absolute machine gun fire, and of course these guys are being shot from the citadel too. There's literally 300 archers <laughs> raking their archers with fire, and of course I'm in here adding to their misery. We'll get this third corps getting hit by javelins. Uh, but it must have been a low-level javelin because it barely scratched me. Of course, my character is maxed, virtually maxed, and everything. He has max armor. Uh, his fucking breath is maxed. It's, it smells like roses. This guy's basically Hercules himself. All right, I've got an infantry division right next to me in a square if I need to retreat. And I'm just going to help my men here completely eviscerate this entire sturgeon force. I mean, that left flank of theirs, or I guess it's their right flank, is gone. All the archers <laughs> just laying in the dirt. And they are, just like I was afraid the AI is dumb enough to pursue the Citadel with this happening. You would never do this as a player. Neither would an army under this kind of hail of darts. They would attack. Not not the city. They would attack us, right? This is clearly the bigger threat. And for some reason or other, uh, they, they're pretty interested in those siege ladders over there. Now, of course, <laughs> they're trying to get the ram. Actually, I spoke too soon. Here they come. They're starting to organize an, ass an assault. The AI has been jolted into action here by the death spam. <laughs> Uh, but it's not going to matter, right? Look at this nasty crossfire. I'm going to be able to kite with the the seventh. We'll be able to back those guys up. I've got two infantry squares to uh, to provide additional cover and additional distractionary agents. <laughs> this is savage. The guys on the wall, of course, are pounding the enemy too. So it's like an absolute maelstrom. I don't think the enemy has any archers left either. They're just completely uh, bereft of support. And they're just being ripped apart. Uh, they, I mean, they, this is unbelievably ugly. All right, we're going to start squaring these infantry divisions, hiding with the 7th, and pulling our squares back. And with that square, uh, what those squares will do besides attract attention is turn the enemies back <laughs> to the guys on the walls, right? They're going to get raked all the way up here chasing these squares. Of course, the guys in the square, I, I told you before, are high-level troops with banners and things like reduced melee damage with the elite captains. Uh, so we're taking some losses here, but the enemy is taking way more losses than we are. I'm going to drag this square, in fact, straight into this bunker so that our troops can literally shoot down onto the heads. Look at that shit. <laughs> Enemy forces are just getting obliterated as they try to pursue that square. <laughs> All you hear is the enemy just yelling, just death cry, charge, Hooah! as they get fucking <laughs> absolutely fucking ripped apart by archers. 
This could also be like an episode for the All Archer series, uh, but it feels like I'm cheating, right? That series, we're going to have no infantry. Look at that square. There's like dark hands just shaking their head no at all these approaching sturgeons like a, like a UFC fighter. No, that, that, <laughs> that hit didn't get through either there, bud. Uh, and meanwhile, the guy that he's shaking his head at gets shot to death with 12 arrows. Uh, I've got the seventh tucked up against the wall here. A little bit of protection. In fact, they're cutting off the enemy's ram. And now we can just continue to rake the enemy as they approach us. Now, it's a little unrealistic, but all of our troops have unlimited ammo. <laughs> unlimited ammo because they're considered, uh, you know, defending troops. And if you don't know that, defending troops in a siege get unlimited arrows and crossbow bolts. Look at those guys on the wall. They're having a blast. <laughs> Every archer here is leveling up and we're getting stronger. I don't think the enemy has any chance at all here. They're bringing up archers, but they're low-level archers. They might as well bring up fucking tr the Transformers here. We would kill Optimus Prime. We would kill everybody. Bumblebee would take an arrow in the fucking face. They're routing. This battle is instantly over. That was destruction. I can shoot some of these coward sturgeons in the back. Actually, these are the smartest guys, right? That was the most savage siege uh, uh, sally I've ever been in. I think we had just the right mix of infantry. Uh, obviously, really good angles on our positioning. Try not to brag too much here, but obviously the archers there were positioned with ep uh, optimal angles so that they were completely raking the enemy with broadsides. You can see all the archers on the wall, right? Those guys are, are just... It was on top of all these guys over here. Most of our archers never even... The infantry never even reached them. Uh, and this is your result, right? It's literally uh, just all carcasses. I forgot to mention, too, I put a skirmisher division on that ladder. So any of those poor fucks climbing the ladder got killed by javelins. And here you go, right? What is this? Uh, 13, 1,200. This is almost a 100 to 1 kill ratio uh, in, this, in this keep defense. I think I will attach this to both playlists, uh, the Epic Siege series, uh, just because it's very instructive to people out there. Trying to learn some siege tactics here, uh, but we'll also attach this to our Kazate series. So with that in mind, uh, talk briefly about the Kazate series and then I'll wrap this episode up. That's just a series. That's a mini series. If you're watching, hit the check out the playlist. It's going to end up being 10, 12 episodes where we roam the map with this increasingly stronger Kazate force, uh, probably 70, 80 percent Kazate. And we provide uh, videos that show tactics with the Kazate. This is something that I didn't have a lot of experience a couple months ago. Now I feel like I have a world of experience uh, just because I have a, uh, obviously a lot of skill playing Bannerlord from uh, you know the last three years. So it's it's helped me apply those tactics and, and that knowledge towards tactics with the Kazate. Uh, and I don't consider myself an expert yet, but we're definitely approaching that level. Uh, so hopefully these these videos are, are helping you fellas out there. Uh, with all that said, please subscribe, of course, if you want to see more episodes, whether it's Epic Siege, uh, Kazate, uh, our, our, our Archer, All Archer series, there's a tongue twister for you, our 300 series, our late game campaign. We got all kinds of content going nonstop. I appreciate you fellas. Please comment if you, you have questions or whatever. I'm very receptive. Uh, hit that like button. I appreciate all the likes, and I will see you guys next time.